Good evening. The Soviet Union is no more. Despite a potential for instability and chaos, these events clearly serve our national interest. Dumbass is going to be the main bad guy. Specter of global conflict. <laughs> Today we celebrate the mystery of American renewal. Something's going on. Something big. I'm a fire starter. Terrific fire starter. I figured if I stuck around hell long enough, I'd see the devil. How's he look? I'd laugh. I'm a fire starter. Terrific fire starter. The agency is compromised. We're being hunted from the inside. You don't have to trust me, Marshal. But it might be better if you do. Hey! There's something you should see. Yes, what Woods. the hell are we getting into? <laughs> don't trust anyone. To a CIA black oh, the leaks are real! Are you out of your mind? Things got complicated. May God continue to bless the United States of America. Pre-order the Vault Edition and get the Hunters vs. Hunted Operator Pack, the Mastercraft Weapon Collection, the Season 1 Black Cell Bundle, and more. No, it's still got battle passes, come on! As good as a trailer looked, the issue I'm having with Activision is trying to become a battle royale or, uh, you know, a free-to-play game. I hate the idea of battle passes, supply drops, all of that. Like, it's just ruined the game. And yes, I get it. It's the way the business is for Activision. And they'll know they'll still make money year after year. I was kind of hoping they you know, move away from that. However, this is one of the longest developed uh, Call of Duty games, uh, according to Activision. It's been in development for the last four years. Um, of course, as you know, Model for 2 and Model for 3 were released back to back. Even though they stated they were going to release another Call of Duty and have like a gap year but they just released Call of Duty Model for 3 as it was a DLC by the looks of it and they released it at full price that pissed off a lot of people but Call of Duty Black Ops 6 is going to be set in the 1990s and the main bad guy is going to be Saddam Hussein we've been told that Adler, Woods, even Mason are returning back into the franchise once again however the main thing that kind of threw me off is the fact that some of the missions are going to be open world missions which did not sit well with a lot of people with Modern Warfare 3 and bearing in mind Modern Warfare 3 campaign was very short it actually felt like a DLC even though you paid for the full game I do have faith in Treyarch that is the thing I do have faith in Treyarch I did like what they did with uh, you know all the Black Ops games. I did enjoy Black Ops uh, Cold War as well. And Treyarch are the only company right now which I'm kind of hoping they give back to the fans exactly what they want. And there is something that you might have seen in the trailer which I kind of um, realised is that in the leaks they said that there was something that had taken away from the Max Payne games which is bullet time. Not the actual bullet time but the physics and the technique in which Max Payne can move and forward and backward barrel roll uh, as many times as he wants and it looks like it's implemented in this trailer I'm kind of hoping that is something that is implemented but it doesn't become broken just bring back the dolphin dives and just get rid of uh, slide cancelling that's ruined the game you might have also seen it with hell divers too so you have the omnidirectional you know jumping back and forth left and right and it just creates a bit more hectic uh, mechanism however many people may think that it's overdue or some people think that it's too much experimentation which I do understand Stand. I miss the good old days when I played Black Ops 1 on my PlayStation 3. Coming back from school, turning on my TV and my PlayStation 3 and playing Black Ops 1. Literally no holds barred. You could say what you want, you could do what you want. It was just a great time. I don't think that will come back anytime soon and I don't think it will come back in the society that we're living in. But Call of Duty Black Ops 6 trailer has officially released. What do you think of the official trailer? Let me know in the comments.